right, so we're going to pick up a trot on a circle. Here, Izzy, stretch down. Let's trot. Here, Izzy, stretch down. Good. And now give her a longer neck. There. So you widen. Actually, I think you pressed your hands out. Good. So you can let her take your hands forward, and then your hands come together. All right. If she tries to pull, you give her a little push. So obviously, this trot could be a little longer. Right? There's always you know, something. Good. But you know, if you asked her to go more forward and you lost the, the softness in the yeah. front end, what's more important? Softness in the front end? I think so. Yeah, because you, get you can always go forward. <laughs> straight, forward forward. straight line, yes. So, okay. so what we want is for you to, to be able to keep this 24 seven on straight lines and circles. <laughs> so that was not straight. So if you look at something, I mean, like I just feel the shoulders, good, outside rain, both hands to the outside, right. You gotta move her shoulders to the right. You gotta keep her shoulders, good. And one of the reasons she doesn't wanna go straight is because she has to bear weight on the outside, on her right hind leg. Keep the rhythm, good. Okay, so this is nice and straight. We'll go ahead and do a little leg yielding. So you're just gonna leg yield over to the railing, good, 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 yep, easy. Good, so now you're going to try to turn a little bit before the quarter line. So the leg, keep her low. The leg yielding will help her to develop some strength and a longer stride, because it gets easy. Down and over, down, and, so notice, good. So your head shouldn't come up to leg yield, <laughs> right? What, there's no value in it. Now you're letting her shoulders fall in. Uh, well, keep coming, you've got to learn how to ride through it all. All right, so you got to turn before the quarter line. She's crooked. Slow her down. Don't let her go faster. Good. Keep the rhythm. Right, rhythm. <laughs> right, that nice rhythm, not the fast rhythm and not the rhythm that's too slow. Turning, turning, turning. Straight. Get her straight. Straight with your right rein. And now leg yield. Think stretch and leg yield. Stretch, down and over, down and over. Good. So you process it, you know? And you do it step by step by step. She didn't rush that one. She didn't rush that one, right. If she starts to rush, slow your posting. Because if you half halt, you probably pull her head up. You should be straight and then you leg yield. Show her where to go with the outside rein. Make it simple. Here, Izzy, go in this direction. You know, you're riding with what I call Dick and Jane aids. Right, you gotta keep it simple. And the horse goes, okay. First, straight, outside range, show her where to go. Lower her head, down and over. Down means stretch down and over. Good, good. Now let's put her on a 20 meter circle and let her stretch all the way down and out. Go cool. all the way down and out. Good, good, that's all right. I'd rather, good, and then try to feel both sides of the bit. Right, good for you. So that you can, you know, she should, if you'd let her just go, she's gonna bend right. So you want to keep her in a frame just with a longer ring. Good. And the hands could go forward to get her nose out. Yeah. But you still keep, good. You just still keep a little left bend. So you're, right now you're like micromanaging. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, that's what you got to do. <laughs> so shorten up your reins. Let's put her back together again. Get her on the bit. You need to shorten the reins, especially the left. Come on. Flex and stretch. Flex at the pole, and then offer two inches, there. And let's ride a half circle back. One hand on either side of the withers, flex and stretch. Flex and stretch, two inches, good, whoops. All right, so now wanna shorten her neck, let's ride the quarter line if it's not too late. All right, straight, straight with the outside rein. Come on, she's got that short neck, there, good. And then we're going to start to add some leg yielding in this direction. So you're going to turn before the quarter line. Very nice. Very, very nice. Straight. And the outside rein's going to say, here, Izzy, go in this direction. Ask her to stretch down as you move her sideways. Yes, ma'am. Good. Every horse is going to try to put its head up when you leg yield. So you have to think, here, stretch down, move sideways. Here, stretch down, move sideways. Anytime you gymnasize the hind end, they try to put their head up. Why do they put their head up in every transition? Because they're coming under. Good. OK, 
Okay, and one more time. Try to turn a little bit sooner. So we're gonna think, we think both hands inside to turn, because we're turning from the outside rein. Relax your inside hand. Straight, straight. And then show her where to go. Outside leg, outside rein, good. Long neck, long neck, yep. Right, you don't wanna pull back and shorten her neck. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let her stretch down and out on a 20 meter circle. No, it's not. <laughs> right, don't just throw her away. Well, good. Remember, and you're on a circle. Remember, your outside rein turns are on the circle. And you're going to see in the video you're riding in a chair seat with your lower leg out in front of you. That's better. Right. Okay, that's okay. I would just, you know, let her. So we're going to transition into a walk. You're going to think here, stretch legs back, bend your knees. Good. Long rein. You'll see in all of your transitions to walk, you, your leg came out in front of you. It's not supposed to, but like you said, there are many things, and we, we have to start to make all of these things become habit, which, look it, the whole lesson she was on the bit, just yeah. at, times, at times you let her get too short, yeah. which we don't ever want. Now we're gonna bring her up. We're gonna get her down and round, working over her back, such as we are doing now. And then we're gonna bring her under and up, by doing 10 meter circles and lateral work, okay? So today we started a little bit of leg yielding. Good, and look at how beautiful your horse is. Right, you don't need to kick her, you need to just sit there. If she slows down, you give her a little tap with the whip. Right. Do you understand straight? I think so, yes. You think so? We want you to know so. Okay, so, so, so you're gonna put her straight at a walk. And how can you tell if she's straight? I'm gonna feel her shoulders and punches lined up right now, she's not straight. She's falling in with her shoulder. Yeah, okay, so who's supposed to fix it? Me. Okay. Right, so that's good. You know, and that was very slight. Really? Oh, I thought it was horrible. <laughs> I guess I'm feeling more than what it is. Okay, so you just ride your horse forward, rhythmically forward, you put her straight. And you don't shorten her neck to put her straight. Good. Now let's see if you can stretch her and keep her straight. That's hard, because now you've got to keep her straight with a six-foot rein. Good. 